Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make my jerk barbecue lamb chops with rice and asparagus. If you haven't already, just make sure that you stop and go subscribe to my channel. And then at the end of this video, if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Stay tuned. Let's get started with the ingredients to make the lamb chops, asparagus, rice, and the sauce. You'll need lamb chops, of course. Then the seasoning is like my favorite brand of seasoning. I get Weber's Classic Grill. Then I'll also get their roasted garlic and herb seasoning I'm going to use. Um, next, you're going to need some rosemary. I got the organic kind as well as just the regular seasoned rosemary. Salt and pepper for taste garlic fresh garlic is best um asparagus and rice i'm going to try to find a box for that um the rice brand that i use this is the jerk sauce that i use but you can use whichever one you have lemon um and lemon juice for the sauce so i'm going to start off first by marinating half of my lamb chops in the caribbean jerk sauce and the other half i'm just going to cook my regular way um so you guys will be able to see both styles but the big difference is just letting these ones sit in the sauce um, while I cook the other ones. The longer you leave them in the sauce, the better. Typically, you want to leave them overnight to let the meat absorb the sauce and give it more flavor. So next, let's start with the rice. You want to let some water come to a boil um, and then add a little bit of butter. And then you want to use equal amount of rice as you did water. So I think I used um, about like two and a half cups of water so that's why i'm going to use two and a half cups of rice um just for this brand specifically you want to use equal amount of water as you do rice um that's the perfect way to make rice um it's always worked for me i know rice is kind of a challenge for a lot of people but for me i always use the equal amount so here I'm just stirring after I just poured the rice in just to make sure that nothing, you know, initially sticks to the bottom of the pot. But then you want to definitely make sure that you turn it down to like very, very low. That is the key to cooking rice. You want to turn it as low as possible um, and just let it sit there and continue to stir. Rice cooks in the back. I'm going to heat this pan to about medium to high heat. I'm then going to add my lamb chops that I seasoned with the classic grill seasoning by Weber. Um, just add them to the pan and then just let them cook on medium high heat with some garlic. So again, this is just how I make my regular lamb chops for anyone that just wants to make regular lamb chops and them not be um, the jerk barbecue. Um, but this is how I make my regular lamb chops. I just do the same exact steps except for with no jerk sauce. Um, so again, you want to just continue to flip these. Um, and once you flip them, you kind of don't want to, you know, touch them. Just let them cook while they're in place and flip them about every four to five minutes. So while those are cooking, I'm going to then get my asparagus ready um, in the pan. I'm going to turn this also to about medium heat um, instead of medium high like the lamb chops. I'm going to turn this pan to medium heat and let it heat up with some oil um, just to prepare for my asparagus. So while I let the oil heat up, I am going back to my lamb chops and I added some garlic as well as the rosemary because um, they're kind of almost close to being done. Don't forget about the rice guys. Make sure that you're continuously stirring your rice while you're cooking all of these meals. You have to be able to multitask or you'll burn your food. So the oil is hot so I'm going to now add my asparagus. After I wash my asparagus, I typically wash them like before I even start cooking and then I let them like sit out and dry because you don't want water and hot grease of course to mix even if it's a little bit so just make sure that your asparagus are dry before you add them to the oil i then just added more oil and then roll them around in the oil before seasoning them all right so i then just went and rolled my asparagus around to make sure that they're coated with oil i added my roasted garlic and herb seasoning on top along with salt and pepper i probably over season my food but make sure that you watch out for the salt. You don't want salty food. <laughs> Here I'm just flipping the lamb chops again. You want to make sure that you're flipping these every like 
um, four to five minutes. Um, they don't take very long to cook. After about 15 minutes, they should be cooked thoroughly through. Um, I like my lamb chops well done, but cook them to the temperature of your preference and liking. So back to the asparagus, they are, um, I'm gonna check to see how they are, but I'm just also gonna stir them. Um, so they're close to being done, but not done. As you can see, some of them are still very stiff, um, which shows that they aren't gonna be able to, you won't even be able to like bite through them if they're stiff. So you um, want them to cook for a little bit more. Um, these probably take a total of like 10 minutes to cook, which is why I started them later than the lamb chops and the rice. So my first set of lamb chops are done. Um, this is basically how I like them. I like them well done. Again, it should take no longer than like 15 to 20 minutes to cook them thoroughly through um, with the temperature being between medium and medium high, no higher than that, um, unless you'll cook them too fast and you'll burn them. So this is how I like them. Um, if you like them any other way, just you know change the temperature settings of your stove. So with the marinated lamb chops, you're gonna follow the same exact steps as my regular lamb chops. It's just these are the marinated ones. I didn't do anything differently. To show you how to make the jerk barbecue sauce, I took the same exact sauce that I marinated my lamb chops in, which was the Caribbean jerk. I took some honey and sweet baby rays hickory barbecue sauce as well as some fresh squeezed lemon juice and I stirred those all together to make this um, it's like a sweet and spicy jerk sauce it's so good guys um, so you can make this just stir it together and then pour it on top of your lamb chops all right so here you have it this is both of the lamb chops on the left side is the one that was marinated, um, as you can see, is very darker than the other one. Um, so that was the one that was marinated in the sauce. And on the right side is just my regular style of lamb chop. Um, and then I added sauce to both of them. Here you have the final product with the barbecue jerk sauce that I added on top. They were so good. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. All right, see you guys later.